Look on a mask of my boy. Come on. You know I was going to play that clip. But uh, yeah, hey guys, Kato, or that uh, guy. <laughs> hey y'all, Kate here from the Emerald Minecart. And today we have more um, just toy stuff. How can I tell it's just toys? Uh, the fact that Roxane and Monty look like bootlegs and this, I'm familiar with this. But these are the new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Squish Me's. Oh boy. Let's let's start off with the worst to best. Okay, I don't know what's with just toys, but why is every single piece of Monty merch they make just horrible? <clears throat> like, I, I, I'm generally curious. Same with Roxane, but I'll get to her after I'm done with him. Like, first of all, to get out of the way, he's butt naked. He is... He is literally naked. He is... He has no clothes. He literally has no clothes. And also, he doesn't have star eyes. And where he doesn't have glasses on either. Like, these aren't his eyes. His eyes aren't star-shaped. Although that would be cool, though. But still, he doesn't have star-shaped eyes. They don't even look like glasses. They just look like eyes. Or like very big pupils that don't have the white part of the eye. Oh my god. Why do they keep having to do... Why do they keep doing Monty and Roxane dirty? Like, seriously. Like, come on. And then Roxane. Again, there's not that much color in it. And why do... I I'm genuinely curious what why they keep forgetting, or should I say, forgetting to paint the... Why do they keep forgetting her face paint? Like, I, I, I'm i legitimately curious. They might as well just also forget her lipstick as well, but then again, people would probably complain about that because they just want Roxane, Roxane's fat lips to press against her face or something. <laughs> oh man, that's going- oh god, that sounds so out of context, but hey, I'm just telling the truth. People are simps for this character, but I don't think they'd want Actually, now that I think about it, I feel like Roxy would have to buy this just for the Roxane one. So, yeah. And then, then we get the Glamrock Chica. To be honest, out of all these, she's actually the best. Like, she... And also, once again, if you just cut her body off, she would just look like an angry bird, so... Uh, like, why, why does every... Thing. Why does why is like most of the merch out there? Uh, I don't know why I think this, but whenever like I see Glamrock Chica merch, I just think, okay, so if I just removed the body and it was just a head, it would just be an Angry Bird. I I don't know why I, I I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep thinking that. And then finally, we have Glamrock Freddy. Technically, we already have something like this, but they're reusing the design. Despite the fact he, and just like with uh, Monty, or actually all of these, they don't have their shoulder pads. Which to be honest, I guess I could somewhat excuse, but you know, I just thought I'd bring it up. But yeah, to be honest, he looks, he looks derpy and, he looks innocent and derpy and cute. So yeah. So, I'm going to rank it by favorite to least favorite. Uh... First, second, third, fourth. Like, seriously, they, they didn't even try with Mondi. Like, they didn't even try at all. Same with Roxane. Except, at least they got the makeup or no, the lipstick and the hair. To be honest, I'm surprised they didn't, like... To be honest, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, instead of Roxane, they accidentally just made Twisted Wolf, but with Roxane... Wolf's lipstick on. Like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they did that. And obviously, th this one is the best, and this one is the second. Like, these two are pretty good, especially this one. So yeah, will I buy these? Well, uh, yeah. Huh. <sighs> especially since, you know, there's six to collect, and uh, 
No, because the main Security Breach merch has mostly been... Because, like, any of the Security Breach merch that's been made by Just Toys is usually, is usually Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Roxane Wolf, and, Roxane Wolf, Monty, Vanessa, and Vanny. I feel like that's going to be the same thing. Which I'm actually kind of excited because I want to see how derpy they're going to make poor Vanny and Vanessa. Vanessa specifically, because... Just Toys already made Vanessa look like a Jimmy Neutron character with one of their merch. And the the good thing I will say is at least we're getting merch of Vanessa at least. Because, you know, Funko refuses to do that. To be honest, it's really sad that the only, like, security breach merch we're, like, getting at the moment is mostly from Just Toys and U2s. To be honest, YouTube doesn't even count because their merch is limited. But still, it's, it's it's honestly kind of sad how again because because you know Funko is addicted with making more recolors because they like money, obviously. But yeah, so to be honest, not they're not horrible. Although I do, I will say these two look like bootlegs. And again, to be honest, I out of all of these. Besides Glenn or Freddy, I really want this one. And hey, maybe if we get... Or, or hey, maybe they might change it up and the other two characters are Sunrise and Moondrop. Hopefully, because again, like the only piece of merch we have of them is a U2's plush that is in a collector's edition that is kind of expensive. Okay, somewhere around $100. So yeah. It would be really nice if we had more merch of them, but oh, you know, no, let's let's make the only piece of merch of them we have exclusive to a video game collector's edition. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm still pissed off by that decision. I really am. I it, it's, um, it's so annoying, especially since I legitimately wanted that plush. But hey, I guess I could go on eBay to find one and hope there isn't one being charged for like $80 or something. But yeah, so, anyways, that was it for this video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye!